you want to watch a Bills game, hopefully another Bills win this weekend, you can go down to Pearl Street Grill and Brewery. I'm going to be there, and right now we have a chef from Pearl Street Grill and Brewery in our Kitchen World kitchen. That's right, Allie. I actually misspoke before. This is Chef Paul from uh, Pearl Street Grill and Brewery. Thanks hey, for joining us this morning. Uh, it's your first time on the show, yes, um, but you seem to be really set up here. And I did miss misspeak because I said uh, brisket, and we're mm -hmm. making beef short ribs. Beef short ribs. <laughs> I already, yeah. already short forgot. Ribs. We're making some really good beef. This is a, a very juicy piece of, uh, of meat, right? Yeah, tasty. And it, can be, it can be really tender if it's treated right. If it's treated right. Now, um, we're going to be braising it with tomato and beer, basically, yep. but we've got a lot of ingredients. They're up on the screen now. Let's go yep. through all the stuff you're going to There's a lot need. of stuff here, but it's not as complicated as you okay. think. Okay, good. Um, you know, we got to start. We have our uh, Pearl Street Oktoberfest here. Mm -hmm. um, rice wine vinegar, just some ketchup, tomato puree, um, some light brown sugar, horseradish, garlic, uh, red pepper flake and bay leaf, mm -hmm. um, some diced up mirepoix, which is just celery, carrots, and onions, and oh. some fresh lemon and water. All right, so basic stuff you can get at any supermarket, mm -hmm. don't have to worry. Now, we're using Oktoberfest. Is that one of the popular beers at uh, the, uh, it is, the grill? It is. This time of year, it, it is. is. definitely I is. I bet, right? Um, I think we just started about a week ago, and it's, it's really delicious, Off actually. the shelves, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, as far as any, you can use any kind of beer, or is it, does it, do you yeah. recommend the Oktoberfest? Um, any beer, any beer will do. Um, okay. I'd try maybe try to stay away from the stouts, uh, okay. the darker beers, stuff like that. The hoppy ones, or um, no, that's pretty. Just hoppy, the darker, actually. just for the color of the sauce and stuff like that. Okay, more just than, more than anything. Okay, now when you you say the word braise to me, that's a little scary. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Um, is this a difficult um, recipe to follow along with, or is it not no, too not too tough for folks? At uh, home? It's just kind of dumping stuff together and throwing it in the oven. I mean, it's real. It's once once everything's put together, it's pretty quick and easy. The right. cook time the cook time is a little long, but okay. So you're, you're going to want to give yourself some time if you're cooking this on a Sunday for the game. You want to get yeah. up early and make it, uh, yeah, get maybe. it going. You know, if it's a 1 o'clock game, start right. at 11 o'clock. Okay, so a couple hours. All right, well, we're going to mix all this stuff together and start braising our uh, beautiful piece of meat here, by the way. Mm, yep. um, do you actually serve this at the restaurant? Uh, this is actually one of our restaurant week entrees. Oh, wonderful. And that's so happening. we got a couple so. more days to get it. Yeah, we'll get in there and get it. And we're going to be making it here today. Back to you guys on the couch. Okay, the Bills game, they just happen to be playing this Sunday again at yes. home. And if you're having folks over to watch the game, we've got a perfect recipe for you. We do, and Joe is in the kitchen right now cooking it up. That's right, we're with Chef Paul from the Pearl Street Grill and Brewery, and uh, we're making a short rib today, right? Yep, we're doing beef short ribs. Beef short ribs. Now, the first part of this recipe, I guess, or steps in the process is to braise the meat, right? Well, it's actually the first step is to sear the oh, meat. Sear the meat, right. Sear then we're going to braise it, right. Yeah, you want to take your meat. Okay. Yeah, I just hit it with some salt and pepper. Okay. Um, I got a nice hot pan here. Um, okay. And you just want to, you know, kind of brown it up on all sides. Okay, you just put a little salt and pepper on that, right? Yeah, salt okay. and pepper on the meat, and then okay. some nice hot oil. Hot oil, get that oil hot yep. before you stick it in the pan. Um, this, you know, this helps uh, keeping all the juices, get some of the blood out of the bone, stuff like that. Okay. Um, kind of starts the cooking process on. Mm, good stuff. Now, is that um, marrow in there I'm looking at? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Does that give it the flavor? Uh, or it's well, just the cut? More with, like, stocks and stuff. Stock. I think. Okay, if you're going to make Yeah, we're not really going to be cooking it long enough for it to really make too much of a difference. Okay, gotcha. The marrow. All right. Right. But uh, you definitely want to be sure to get a nice hard sear on each side. Oh, look at that. And uh, once that's all done, mm -hmm. then we're going to be braising it. Okay. Um, braising is it's cooking in the oven, um, mm -hmm. but with liquid. Uh -huh. So we're going to be putting these in a pan, covering them in a, in a seasoned liquid. It's going to kind of boil a little bit slow, in there. Yeah, real slow simmering it in the oven. It's all real right. low, even heat. So low temperature for a little bit of time then, obviously. You're going to well, cook it for a long time. low temperature for a long time. For a long time, that's yeah. what I meant, right. Because you okay. want all the, all the tough parts and the fat to wear away and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So then basically it'll just, you'll be able to eat this with a fork, theoretically. Oh, yeah, if, uh, you'll be able to pull it right. right apart. All right, good stuff. we got about yep. 30 seconds. We've got some mm -hmm. ingredients here that we have to make for the sauce in which to yep. braise the meat in, right? Yes, sir. All right, what do we have really quick? Can you just go through um, it? Again, we just have uh, rice wine vinegar, mm -hmm. some ketchup, some tomato puree. Okay. Um, of course, we have our Pearl Street Oktoberfest beer here. Got to have that. Um, this is horseradish. You can get anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, minced garlic, red pepper flake, bay leaves, uh, diced vegetables, some fresh lemons, and some water. Okay, so we're going to mix all that up in the next segment, then uh, yep. get to braising. Yep. All right, good stuff. Chef Paul from Pearl Street Brewery is here for the first time. First time. Uh, so far, so good, i got to say. So far, so good. Probably going to have you back, <laughs> I'd like to say. All, all right. right, back to you guys on the couch. A uh, little less of a healthy snack today, but that's all right. We're going to go now to Joe in the kitchen, who's making up something delicious. Right, definitely something to snack on this morning. We're with uh, Chef Paul from the Pearl Street Grill and Brewery. We're braising some short ribs. Um, we're about halfway through the process here. We've seared the meat, right? Well, we're through, we're through maybe halfway through the, the actual prep process. Right, prep, uh, right. Nowhere, okay. nowhere near in the cooking no, process. No, that takes a while, right, yeah, once you yeah. get it going. Okay, so where are we at right now? Okay, right now we have our, we have our beef seasoned and seared off right mm -hmm. now. Right. Um, they're set in another pan deep enough where we can pretty much submerge them and be able to cover them. Okay. Um, for when they are gonna, ready to go in the oven. Right. 
Um, what I'm going to do now is this is the pan that I seared the beef in. Yeah, with the juices and everything. Um, yep, still has the oil on it, all the all the good stuff that's stuck save in the bottom. That, I bet, huh? Yep. Yeah. So what we want to do here is that's what we want to saute our diced vegetables in. Ah, okay. Because so then that helps it, with the moisture and stuff from those. Mm -hmm. It helps loosen up all the stuff that's stuck to the pan. Gotcha. Okay, so we've got our carrots, our celery, and our onions. They're going to be yep. in there uh, in those yep. juices. And then also our garlic. Garlic. Can't forget that. Yep. Okay. And while this is going, yeah. um, in a separate bowl, mm -hmm. you want to mix the remainder of your ingredients. Okay, so, so I'll take the brown sugar. Yep. Are these all, I just dump them all just in, dump right? Dump them right in there and okay. give them a mix with a whisk. That, uh, ketchup, right? Yep, that's ketchup. You can all scrape right. it out of like this if you want. That's good. That's up to you. All right, that's good enough for now. And we've got some pureed tomatoes, right? Yep, tomato puree. That you can use right paste, there. too, but I would just add maybe a little bit more water. Oh, right, because paste is kind of so, thick, huh? Well, or beer. Whichever, or beer. Whichever one you want to add more of. Got some beer around. We're using <laughs> Oktoberfest as well, right? Yep. That's part of the uh, yep. ingredients, That's right? our featured, our featured uh, seasonal beer. Horseradish? Yep, that's right, okay. just fresh ground horseradish. Of course, all of these ingredients that I just spilled on the counter are uh, uh, on our website. Don't worry about that. That's yep. Right. I'll just do that. Um, the recipe on the, on the <laughs> website is for six. Bay leaves. Okay. Yep. Six. Yep. This is for six people. Okay. Well, so for six short ribs. Oh, six short ribs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you okay. got a couple big guys. Maybe they want to. Oh, yeah, I could eat one of those by myself. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar. All right. Pour some of that. I like in to there. use that because it's a little sweeter. Oh, is that why? Okay. Mm -hmm. And some water. Yep. Some water. If you yeah. want to just squeeze a, one of those halves of lemon in there, and then. Don't you? And pour the beer on in. Pour the beer on into my mouth or into uh, the no. <laughs> okay. It'll leave a little for the rest. Got it. So one of these, just one of these guys in here. Yep. All right. Let's get that lemon going. All right. Ooh, got a paper cut? That'll sting. All right, now yeah, we're a pint. of uh, yeah, Oktoberfest, right? Yeah, about a pint. Okay. All right, now I'm yep. whisk it. Yep, so just give that a good whisk. All right. That smells great, by the way. Yep. They're great. Wow, look at those onions and everything cooking right there. That's uh, Did you add any uh, extra olive oil to that situation? Nope, or just that's the, it right it's there? Just the, the fat and whatever the, you know, maybe the tablespoon of olive oil that I started with. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, now, a lot of people think this is, seems a lot like the ingredients of cocktail sauce. It kind of looks like that. Look yeah, at it that. Sort of it sort of smells like it, too. Right? But it, yeah. it, it, once you cook it and, it and it roasts the meat or it braises with the meat mm -hmm. and everything, it, it totally changes. Now, when you, really mentioned, when you mentioned braising uh, with the meat, it's going to be a low temperature for a long period of time. That's yep. the idea. Yep. Right? That's what you do, want. When I do it for about an hour and a half, uh, yeah, hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half, about 300 degrees. That's what you want. Okay. Um, all right. We got about two minutes. Right. So what else do we need to do here? Okay. This is so what we're going to do here great. Is, okay. Yeah. We're going to take this. Mm -hmm. We're going to dump that right over the top of it. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So that's all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Then you want to take your mixture here. Yep. And pour it till it's just about full. You don't want to overflow the pan. Okay. You, you also want to give it to give it some room to bubble. You so you don't make a mess in your oven. Stop. Right about there is good. Good there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you get those bay leaves in there, I bet. That's oh, probably yeah. a really good source Those definitely flavor, flavor, right? So then you just want to give it a cover. Okay, so pretty much covered the meat, but there's a yep. little exposed. Yep. And one of the one of the secrets to making a, a good sauce with this yeah. is uh, when your baking time is done, mm -hmm. which is your hour and a half, right. um, you want to take the cover off and leave it in there for about 15 more minutes, and that, that allows the sauce to reduce a little bit. So, pa oh, so it'll thicken mm -hmm. a little bit. That's yeah, what, when you up. say reduce, that means it'll thicken up a little bit. So yep. take that off. After yep. it's done yep. for about 15 minutes. Yeah, about 15 minutes. All right, good and stuff. And even then, if it's a little thin, you can just kind of take the meat out, put it in a pot, and let it reduce like that. All right, so for two pieces like that, you said 300 degrees at two hours? About an hour and a half. Oh, an hour and a half. Yep. Okay, an okay. Half. So not bad. If you're, so then, there's a 1 o'clock game on, then you start around 11, you should be 11 fine, or so, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, you can, you can open up the beer and... Of course. Now, of course, what goes better? Uh, you guys make great mashed potatoes. I've been to yep. a, a couple of weddings, and you cater great weddings to it. Yep. It's very hearty food, and uh, obviously we've got some mashed potatoes here. What kind of these? These are Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. Oh, good stuff. All right, we're going to bring this sure plate over here to John's and get a little shot of it. Are we good? Yep. Or do you have something else to? Yeah. Well, I have it. You know, this one ready to go here. There we go. Let's show the folks at home what it looks yeah. like. That's what and it should look some, like when uh, you're done. This is the sauce. This is what the sauce should look like when you're done. Nice oh, and it, thick and shiny. Is? Look at that. Yeah. You want to dump it right over the top oh, there? And good stuff. Awesome. You want to give it a whirl? Great for a game day. Let's get uh, John a shot of that. And on game days, you guys have special stuff going on um, as far as the, the games go. Yeah, uh, yep. people our, to see. Our, right? uh, a lot of TV set up. Yep, in our deli right now, mm -hmm. um, which is in the, the basement of the of mm -hmm. Pearl Street, underneath the four floors. Yeah. Um, we have uh, the Bat Blue halftime party. Ah, good stuff. So, so get down there last for that. Week we had a lot of people, but it was a big game. I bet. You know? Great game. I'm sure they'll all be back. Let's get one more shot as we bump out with this. That looks a lot better than the weather outside, I'll tell you that. Mike.
back. All right. Uh, we've been making some uh, braised short ribs today, and uh, we've you know, Victoria and me, we got into it, ate yeah, guess, most of it. We're going to make a second helping, but really quick, we want to let folks know on Sundays, especially when the Bills are out of town, Labatt USA holds uh, little viewing parties at, mm -hmm. at, uh, at the restaurant, yep, so it's great our, to watch the game. Yep, in our deli, um, mm -hmm. there's, there's great sandwiches, yeah. you know, fresh, warm, hand-cut meats. Good stuff. So, yep, good stuff. All right, and uh, good for Labatt to do that because uh, a lot of people, you know, want to do something on Sunday. And it's, it's so close to the arena, you can't beat it. Absolutely. Good stuff. All right, uh, we're going to take our braised um, short, short ribs. ribs. Yep. <laughs> that <Again>. name escapes <laughs> me. Uh, and we're making a quesadilla. Yeah, we're going to do a quesadilla with it. Okay. Um, you know, it's a pretty basic thing. Um, yeah. It's buffalo, so I put some blue cheese in it because everybody loves blue course, cheese and buffalo. Blue cheese on my shoe, and I'll eat yeah. it. But that's um, great. Yeah. Some cheddar jack cheese. This mm -hmm. is just a cheddar jalapeno tortilla wrap. Okay. Um, I have some fresh pico de gallo here. Now, what is that right. for folks that don't know? It's just. Uh, it's kind of, in layman's terms, it's kind of like a chunky salsa. Chunky salsa. Ah. You know, pretty much. Uh, All those nothing good fancy. No. Beautiful. Um, then this is just the the meat that I cooled and pulled. Mm -hmm. You know, str uh, pulled it into strings and stuff, kind of took some of the fat off of it. And, and as you were saying, when you cook this, uh, when you cook this meat, you, can, you can't really mess it up. You cook it too long, it'll just get more... It just gets more tender, more and tender, then the right? bones fall out. You know? but, uh, <laughs> Easy enough. All right. It's kind of it's hard to mess up. Yeah. Um, so then you just, as a, you know, maybe 350-degree oven, right, just pop it in there the until the cheese is melted. Okay. Um, fold it in two and, you know, have Slice it, here. it up. Let's show the finished product. Now, do you I guys make this at the restaurant as well, or is this just no, an idea we, you came up this with? This is an idea I came up with okay. for, the, for the leftovers for the, mm -hmm. for the menu, but, you know, this is some sour cream and some, uh, some of our tequila salsa from the restaurant. Yeah, good thing. Great thing to do with those leftovers mm -hmm. if you have them. I mean, you know, you can make this before the game, and this is great when you get at home after the game. Good stuff. And if you make one for the game, bring it down to the Pearl Street Brewery for the Labatt uh, viewing party this weekend. They, they have a lot of them. Of course, uh, Paul, we hope to have you back. All right, thank you very on much. On the show. Great job today. Thank back you. to you guys.